Local food brings everything back to the people it, it serves in every way. It not only gives them their nutrition locally, but it also feeds the community. It's a cycle that um, one hand feeds the other. I do think that eating locally is, is, is very good, uh, not only for local farmers, but for the community. When you, when you buy vegetables that are grown you know, right down the road from you, you know, you know, you know who your farmer is. Uh, one, it's more nutritious. Two, it's more tasty. Um, three, it didn't get shipped 2,000 miles from you. I think local food's a good thing because you don't have to travel so far to get it. You can do it yourself, kind of do it yourself on your own time. It would be so much better if we could have our own food here. If you can grow your food in your own backyard, you know what you've put in your own food. Um, local food to me is being able to go five, ten miles down the road, someone that you know, a neighbor, uh, a local farmer and be able to get fresh produce from them. For the past three years we've been writing grants to better our facility. One of those grants were nourishing North Carolina and what that did is it gave us the money and funds to build five raised beds to grow fruits, uh, vegetables in order to give back to our community. We've been approached by the town of Aurora to assist them with a community garden. The Southside FFA and the Agriculture Department here will be constructing a community garden down there, which is going to entail about two and a half acres. It's just a lot of fun out here doing the work. You get to meet a lot of people from all over, believe it or not. That's the fun part about it. It amazes me that a lot of people will come just to get a couple of tomatoes rather than go to the grocery store because they know where they came from. And a tomato. Uh, has been the big calling card for us. If you buy a, a typical grocery store tomato that's been refrigerated, picked green and gassed or whatnot, um, it just doesn't have that flavor. It's kind of grainy, kind of mealy. And then they'll try these greenhouse tomatoes or, or our field grown tomatoes and, and you just see people's eyes uh, change and light up and they swear by them and whatnot. So that's probably my favorite uh, fruit to grow, if you will, because of the response we get from it. It's very fresh because we don't take nothing out of this garden until you come out here to buy it right then. If you want five pound of mixed greens, we got seven different kinds out here. And it's fresh. You sit right here while it's being picked. We're kind of fortunate to be in a very cool uh, farming you know, community that we can get local food. It's good being a chef because you get all that good stuff. You know, come on, you can't beat that. You know, you got to fresh, get dropped off and I'm literally going in that day and not knowing, and then they drop it off, and I'm coming over with specials like that. Yeah. You know, on top of the We're like, I, here. You know, you don't. You have don't. fun. Last November in uh, 2013, we put this restaurant together. Small, quaint, very casual, concentrating on local seafood. We've had a great, great response. Local people that come in that know what local seafood is. I mean, there's a lot of products that get brought in from, from out of country now that's just not the same quality. It's not that that's bad, it's just this is better. So that's what we focused on. When we do beef, we buy the whole cow. So you're, you're buying the fillets of that, of that animal, then other different parts, and when they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. On that note, you know, you may be coming in for our filet that night, but we've sold all our filet. So we have a New York strip on the menu or whatever. So there, there's, a, our customers have adapted to that a little bit. They've been cool about going, we'd rather have your local beef than you just yeah, exactly. giving us something else that came off of a truck. We've had a huge response from our community. Um, everybody has really jumped on board as far as wanting to eat fresh and eat local. So our motto here at the farm is kind of um, homegrown, handmade, um, you know, back to the way it was. Raising natural foods or avoiding uh, pesticides and growing more organically is very popular in the area and I believe people are turning to that direction because they want to know where their food is coming from. We, don't, we just don't use chemicals on this farm. We build the, the soil. Soil fertility is, 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 the, is paramount at our farm. As for the future of organic agriculture, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna blow up. I think organic agriculture shouldn't be just for the wealthy. I think that, that everyone should have access to, to healthy food. Let, Leggett Farm Organic, we sell lots and lots and lots of different varieties of vegetables. Some, some will grow four or five different varieties of tomatoes. We grow close to 200 varieties. We do a cherry tomato 
that we call bin gold and uh, we can't grow enough of them. My CSA customers get to experience lots of new varieties of vegetables that they wouldn't have normally uh, gotten at a grocery store. It beat going four miles away. I'm not going to say what store or nothing like that, but it beat going four miles away and you get it at a reasonable price here. We started a couple of years ago as a joke. We started with five rows and we end up every day another row, another row, five rows. So we got it as large as it is now. Things that you never thought about growing like a chard. People really love that stuff. Most of the food that we grow here is sold locally. We have a store in Washington. We actually move a lot more produce there than we do here at the home store where we grow everything. We are a retail garden center and produce market. We're open pretty much 12 months out of the year. Everything from uh, summer vegetables, wintertime vegetables, even greenhouse tomatoes in the winter. As far as the seedlings go that we grow, they're sold locally to anybody who wants to garden themselves. And I think the benefit, without a doubt, is some of the gardening plants, we grow them here in the field as well. We deal with the same problems that everyone else do, uh, does here locally with the certain pest diseases and so forth. So once we've tried it and had success at least two years in a row with something, we'll put it on the shelf in the retail house and offer it up to customers. We can conversate with each and every customer coming in. We can tell them about each plant, what we've grown, what you know our neighbor down the road has grown. Um, so not only do they get to come and buy the local, they get great conversation and you know smiles when they walk through the door too, which I think has a huge benefit. They like know, knowing that they're helping their neighbors. I love to talk. When people come by, they'll sit and talk, maybe take a soda, uh, and sit longer than they expect. Some people come in and sit two or three hours. I think slowly but surely, even with this uh, shrinking economy, more and more people are focusing on spending their money locally. And uh, I appreciate that. And I, in turn, try to do the same with local small businesses. Well, Bellhaven has an interesting dichotomy of people. You might see voters from you know, all over the world or just a local somebody. It's, it's a really interesting menagerie of people. And I find that to be really fascinating that we could appeal to someone locally and also appeal to someone from a boat from miles and miles away. We like to stay involved with the neighborhood. If, like if a neighbor had deaf in the family, we try to provide them with certain things out of the garden. If, if farmers know they can bring us fresh vegetables and everything else, they don't have to go anywhere else because we go through it so much that I, I could literally take a lot of off their hands and utilize it within that week. We are, we 65 percent in the winter I'd say is our local percentage and then in summer of course it shoots up to 80 to 85, I mean just depending. The potato soup mm -hmm. um, with candied bacon, the bacon came from Acre Station Meat Farm, the flatbread made flatbread. from scratch. That's everything that's here locally. Tomatoes are grown from petals and produce. All our lettuces that you have today were from those who are grown, so it's all local grown. The fish tacos, the flounder was local. Mm -hmm. um, the cabbage is local from the, for the coleslaw. Oh, it supports uh, the whole ecosystem and the economic system with uh, fishermen that catch product in Pamlico River, Pamlico Sound, that bring product to my wholesale facility at Washington Crab. I mean, we're, we're processing that product, selling it directly to customers now, as well as now you can come get it cooked. So we're getting kind of covered the whole gambit of the seafood industry. It's interesting because I've noticed local people that are coming here saying that they've heard about our place in Raleigh. They live in Bellhaven, they're like, there's a buzz about you guys in Raleigh. And like last night, we had customers come all the way from Raleigh to stay at one of the B&Bs and have dinner with us. And so we're finding that the outreach of our restaurant is impacting our local economy. And so I find it to be fascinating. I do, I do feel that the local food movement here will be getting stronger uh, and, and we'll be here for a while.